Okay, so um, hopefully you have the Oryx Maps app installed, but I forgot to say um, on the Oryx Max, or, oryxmaps.com page, where we were just at, if you scroll down past the downloads, down here, um, they have all these kind of um, features of this app. So uh, let me just go through some of them here. Let me turn that around so it scrolls a bit better. Cool. Um, so I think I said earlier that I knew about half of these things, but just reading it now, I don't have very few of them. So here are the features. It's in columns, but uh, you've got 100% free, which is great. No advertisements, advertisements. Android Wear, blah, blah, blah. Tiles, maybe views. I'll talk about those later. Um, oh, yeah. Build composite maps online from sources. So they've got loads of different map sources, which we'll talk about later. Tan Different values of transparency, don't even know what that is. Support for WMS, these are different files, uh, file types, I think, WMS. Offline maps, that's really great. So if you go to some back beyond country where the, the, um, uh, the data connection is expensive, you can download the map and then you don't need to pay for the data roaming. Um, use maps category with Oryx Maps desktops, Mobac or other PC apps. I think that's about making uh, uh, maps, I don't even know what that is. Maps Forge, Vectorial Maps, I'll talk about that later. Support for Geo, PDF, Experimental, don't even know what that is. Uh, USGS Store, which is probably an American thing. Support for uh, Arm Map, don't even know what that is. Garmin, which is the SatNav stuff, don't even know what that is. And so it goes on. And then the next column. Yeah, now this is, I uh, do know these ones a little bit. Um, there are these kind of um, map kind of um, websites. So the one I know is uh, Gypsies, G P S I E S, and they have like a collection of people upload their favourite tracks. I have to say I haven't had a lot of luck with those really. That um, the ones I've found seem pretty obvious. The tracks that people have logged, but I think it's good for cyclists because people have made routes and they kind of put up their times, and so you go to your some foreign country with your bicycle, and then you can see if you can beat it, something like that. I don't know, but that's all that's about. And there's a load of them, every trail and so on. Um, up icky map, blah, blah, blah. They just seem a variety of that kind of stuff, as far as I know. And then export your tracks, it's different, I know this stuff. So. Uh, export your track. So you make a track and then you can um, export it as a GPX file, a KML or a KMZ, uh, and then you can save them on your computer um, out of the app, which is great. You can send it to, to people. Um, so for example, um, if you were to go on holiday somewhere, and I, I, was, in, I was in Greece, and uh, some guy showed me this beautiful um, hidden uh, old temple in the middle of the field. Now, I logged it and so next time I go back, I can find that space in the middle of these hills, um, uh, or I can send it to some friend, whatever. So you can pass that around, like stars on Google Maps, but you have the data and you can email it to people, so it's a lot better. Um, that's KML, KMZ, and GBX. Uh, you can add photos, so if I was at that temple and I took a photo, it would have the photo attached to the location, so that's good. Heart rate monster. Yeah, I didn't mention that bit. Um, uh, I'm not into this kind of um, cycle racing and checking the times and uh, the average speeds and the rate you're climbing up hills and stuff. So if you're um, uh, watching these videos uh, wanting to learn about that, you're probably better off um, stopping now and, um, and checking out somewhere else. Okay, I think that's everything on that page as those canes for bike riders I guess I thought it was a heartbeat somewhere heart rate steps and so on okay I was going to talk about maps but that's the next time